Okay, here we are at the rotor. And uh, I've got just a chunk of building foam here, just because I'll be able to cut that fast. And it's not some kind of finished product. Unless I was using uh, making a cement mold, I could use that. But uh, I'm going to clamp that like that, and I'm going to run these clamps in and clamp it. That's overkill. Um, one concern about cutting plastics and foam is that this rotor bit, this tip, can heat up while cutting, heat up the material, and you'll end up melting, uh, getting an accretion of melted material on there. And what'll happen is it'll ball up and get bigger and bigger. And as a result, instead of being cutting with a nice, neat cutting tool, you'll be trying to plow your way through with a ball of material and it'll just chew up the material and wreck your piece. And it's a real shame if you've finished a few hours of work and you're down and it's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you're almost done. And then it starts to act up and you've messed up your work. Or you may find out that for a while it chewed up a bit and then it cleared itself, the tip, and it's okay. So there are a couple ways to get around that. And I'll just show you that uh, this sometimes works. Now this isn't the right size of wood, and it's, it's a piece of hardwood, but um, I could put a, a piece of pine right here and I could set this up such that it traverses over and at this end, it does its work and has a border when it's right in the raised position above here that it continues on until it kisses that piece of wood. <laughs> that way, it's, if during that pass, it tended to pick up any buildup, it would clean itself and it would come back. Then it would go here, dive into its work, raise for the border, come back, dive into its work, raise, kiss that side, okay? And each time, of course, this table is, every time it goes across, this index 0.015, that's what we've got it set to. And this thing's going back and forth and with a maximum excursion of 0.31, that's what we've got it set to for up and down. Okay. Let's just, uh, set. okay, I've got it set up, it's clamped. Foam's easy to clamp. I didn't put that wooden fence. That's only if I was really caring about this work, but this is just for demonstration. Sometimes when there have been very light pieces, I've reinforced, and it's very hard to hold them in place, I've reinforced with masking tape, and that can help. It depends what you're doing and how heavy the load is, but uh, that's helpful sometimes. Um, you see my spindle. This is actually a trim router. The original spindle is tied into the machine commands. This is not. This is this little switcher. And this up, is, up here is my speed control. And for the, this foam, I'm going to, just so it doesn't melt, I'm going to run it a little slower than usual. I'll slow it down. I'm not going to go that slow, but I will slow it down a little for Max. Okay. Now we'll come around to here. Uh, now you notice I have all these shrouds around here just to keep the dust down. Make sure my e-stop is off. This is the on and actually there it's on. Welcome. Press enter to continue. So there's enter. Right now through there, table is moving. Everything went to home position. Uh, I could catch that again. Watch this. Now I'm going to move this. Oops. I'm going to shut that off. I'm going to move that table so it's somewhere random. And I'm going to press that enter again. And you saw it moved a little too. Oops. So if it was wherever it was, it eventually goes back to zero. It finds zero. And uh, that's the current zero. Motion done, it says. Enter to continue. Cutting tool it just says, hey, did you put a cutting tool in the right kind that you wanted? Workpiece, do you have it clamped down? Enter to continue, yes. USB check, enter to continue. Oh, did I put the USB in? No, I did not. So I'm going to reach in my pocket 
and I've got the USB stick and this is kind of weird it goes in actually upside down like that this is a weak point on these machines sometimes for some people they've had the USB port crack off the board that's back behind there occasionally you have to take the cover off and clean too if you don't have this cover a lot more dust can get inside so USB check let's see if it works ah select file we have a choice select file position configuration or version configuration and version are just what you know it, it is oh error 21 motion reset you get that sometimes that's unusual but there's limit switch we're going to start over again that actually is somewhat unusual it means that uh, uh, I probably have to clean something cutting tool workpiece USB check enter to continue select file okay now we have the arrow before we didn't have an arrow so we can either we can go position and if we go position um, I'm going to be pressing you see it says X plus X minus Y plus Y minus Z plus Z minus uh, we've gotten up and down that's just for menu enter and back but those are the moves right now it's on position I go enter enter well you know we're going to do that after but I, I can do that right now I can go manual jog mode and uh, so we can do jogging and I'm just going to jog the Z up and down whoops see that's Z up and down now for the X that's left and right the squeaking is the ball screws and then those two are that's ball screw that's ball screw this is a rack and pinion you can't see it but under this table is a that's the rack there's a gear on that uh, this is the Y and you see it moves quite a bit faster than the others and that whole that table the fastest rack and pinion and that moves so fast relative to the others that's the reason um, that's the main limitation why it can't go fast on this machine why it can't use other programming software than I picture rather the, other than the, the raster you couldn't just say hey I want to draw a picture and draw an outline of a face and then draw the nose because you'd be coordinating all axes at once and the z-axis just plain goes too fast and would chatter it's just not very strong okay so that's jogging we're going to go back I want to get back to select file because we haven't even selected a file yet I'm going up up and that arrow went up select file we go enter uh, I have for sale sign there base there we are baseball is the one I want see it says base bah. manual jog mode okay okay and we're going to enter to set org or origin so I'm just going to ahead of time I'm going to get this down to enter but it has some numbers there notice that there are numbers for X Y and Z that's where from the default zero where it thinks it is right now so we're going to set the origins right now okay we're setting the origins I'm going to back up the, the table in Y oops back it up that's to the limit right now X oops that's Z sorry X we're going to see how far it will go over there it goes right to the corner I, I'm going to leave it there just for a second so you can see now Z is going to go down and I see well it's off the work I want the border to start in here and remember that image was 7.75 wide well I want to I'm going to bring X in a little bit maybe half an inch or so if I was careful about this and had a, an exact piece of size of wood I would be getting up my scale or tape measure and, and trying to equalize the border both sides I can always trim it after with the table saw to clean that up but right now I just to me that's good enough I'm away from that edge I'm away from that edge now here the most one of the important things is I have a, a business card here and I set this down I jog it down it's free oh now it's pinched I don't want it that close I'm into the work Okay, there we go. 
Okay, it's just there. So I know that I'm clearing the work and it will clear the work. Sometimes if I know my piece of wood or foam is uh, warped, I set it a little higher because I don't want it to drag where it's not supposed to drag. But for now, that's fine. Uh, that's just fine. So that is the zero point. What we do over here, we see some numbers. This is what from the default zero, that's where it was, but we're going to press enter one more time. Enter the set or origin, enter, and boom. That is the new zero. Our program will execute from that zero. That the stuff that we did on iPicture, it's going to execute from that. So we are done. I'm going to go back. Now we got a choice here. We can do process and we can do border. I'm going to show you what border does. It takes a long time, so I'll just show you the start of it and the end of it. So I'm going to go down one to border, and I'm going to go enter. Error one reset motion. Well, I'll take care of that, and uh, we'll get it to uh, doing the border inspect. Okay, what I had to do there uh, was go through all the steps you saw previously. Because the machine had a fault, I had to go right back to the end, hit the e-stop, restart it, choose the program again, go through the whole zero in procedure, get it back zero to this point. And uh, what I also did was took compressed air, and uh, there's one of the limit switches there, and one of the limit switches there, and on the, the other ball screw is hidden, that's for the vertical. The other one is in here, uh, limit switch at that end and at that end, and I blew them out. And I think actually the mounting for one of these two switches, I think, might be just a little loose. And, uh, but we ho I hope it doesn't fault uh, what I really do need to do is take off all the covers and go at it again. Okay, uh, we're going to do border inspect. I'm not going to turn the spindle on. I'm just, uh, I, I say border inspect because it's inspecting border. I press, there it says border. I've, instead of process, I, I do border. I don't do this every time, but sometimes I want to do it just to see. It says border inspecting, wait. At this point, it goes very slowly around the entire perimeter. And you see it's actually this table is moving. It's just giving you the extents of it. And uh, it's kind of boring, so I'm going to pause it here and we'll see it at the end. It's going down the other side here. Okay, it's returning to the uh, origin. Uh, unfortunately, it does one other thing after it returns to the origin. If you remember back in eye picture, we chose that one corner to start with. That's the zero when we zeroed it. It, for some reason, does this extra step back to here and back to there, which it's like it's going over the border twice. So, but anyhow, over that portion of the border. Okay, we'll pause. Uh, I'll, we'll start it up next thing. Okay, we're ready to begin. Now it's back up at process. I'm going to choose process. And we can choose what speed overall do we want the three axes to move at. This is the only choice you get is low, normal, high. If you're doing any kind of wood, if you're doing even pine, but especially maple or walnut or cherry, you've got to use low. Normal, uh, you might use it for this foam or for plastic. High, for foam we can do high. Uh, that might actually make bigger chunks of foam and be less likely to melt little bits on the spindle. So if I go enter, it's going to start. So watch when I press enter, uh, because I also want to have my spindle on. Now, this normally with a regular Oliver, the original one, it will start the spindle on its own. But as you recall, I... I deleted the one spindle command, otherwise the machine will hang up now, but this is totally independent of the machine. It has no spindle, uh, uh, accepts no spindle command. So I manually turn it on. And I'm reaching around with my hand, and I press enter. There we go. And there it goes. You see, it went, did an up and a down there. It goes up and a down. Oh, 
Okay, we'll come and check on this when it's done. You can see that the Z, or rather the Y, is staying constant while the X and the Z move. Then every once in a while, the Y increments by point uh, by a fraction of a millimeter. This is percent done. So what happens is when I get up to five percent or so, I will look at my actual lapse time, and I can uh, project the completion, which I didn't, but this won't take very long. It's doing about a, more than a percent a minute, about a percent a minute, so it's going to be done in an hour, roughly, more or less. Okay. Consummation, basically one hour, 23 minutes, four seconds. And if I go, well, I won't press the enter to end. All that will do is return this. Well, actually, the spindle is returned, but it is done. And this is what's messed up inside. Uh, when you're doing this, you can vacuum carefully while it's running. Uh, just to keep accumulations down. And you notice here, this is my... Uh, dog that I have here and it shuts the switch off. I just put a hex key in there and, and it shuts things down. So let's examine the piece. And there's a few things here that I would, you know, do different. We can just examine it. One is we look at the font and sometimes we find out that some fonts we use along with a certain amount of blur that we use, uh, end up with the letters being too pointy, too rounded, or uh, well, we're going to look, you can see, sometimes um, yeah, it's hard to see, but that dips down low there, and sometimes it will wash out. So you have to watch, and especially if you're doing certain types of wood, it will tend to get too thin and splinter and so on. Uh, the baseball detail worked out fairly well. And you can see the rounding here and the rounding here for the border. Now, one thing you know here that, let's say this was wood, we'd probably cut this out here and on the table saw and maybe we bandsaw around. The only thing is we didn't get any rounding on the outside edge here. If we run a bandsaw there, uh, it'll be a sharp edge. So what I would do is uh, I should have put a white border all the way around. And then I would have had a recessed border. So if you remember that original picture with the black shield, if we put a white border around, it would have uh, given the rounding, the blur to the outside of that black feature, as you recall, that was black. So uh, that's uh, about all I think we can learn at this present time. Uh, spindle's doing fairly well. It's a little noisy right now. It might need some new brushes soon, but uh, definitely the whole thing needs to be cleaned internally. There's that switch issue. and. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and found it useful.